Hey there guys and welcome to a brand new Civilization 5 mod showcase. This time I'll be showing the Celtic Civilization mod, which adds 5 brand new civilizations. Well, adds 4 brand new civilizations and changes up Boudicca a little bit. So let's actually look into what kind of civilizations do we get. So, now Boudicca, the Icani, Boudicca's Uprising. Enemy units have minus 10% combat strength when adjacent to the Icani land combat units. Well, that's basically just... If you're doing 1v1, you're gonna have 10% less combat. If it's a land unit, of course. Um, they have a swift chariot as their special unit, and they have a silversmith as their special building. So, as you can see, they've been changed up quite a bit. Now, we have Brian Boru of Ireland and Achmor. I'm actually not sure what does it mean. They're supposed to be like a bit English, a bit more Celtic, but. Well, anyways, after entering a new area uh, era, a great general scientist, engineer, merchant, artist, writer, or musician w is generated near the capital. So I'm guessing it's random. And the special unit is a kern, and the Tillet Hall is their special building. It's basically taken from Boudica, from the normal game. Um, I'm guessing it makes more sense. This guy has it. I'm not sure. I'm not really familiar with the uh, Celtic history. Um, the third one is Calgacus, the Picts. So obviously they get the Pictish warriors who are renamed into Kruitni, Kruitni, again can't pronounce it. And the special building is a Cranog, maybe a replacement for the lighthouse. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna check it out. Land combat units are faster in hills. All million mill units receive the drill plus one promotion. Well, having drill one is kind of useful. Now we're moving on to Geriant of Cornwall. Dritic Lore. This is the guy I'm going to be playing with. They have plus one fate per city with an adjacent unimproved. Basically, this is the Boudicca's, Boudicca's um, attribute. They have the Stone Circle and the Stannery. Now, I believe there's one more. Here we go. Leverlin. Leverlin? He's basically one of the. Um, how should I say this? More. More civil ones. More civilized ones. I'm not really sure. He's not, I'm guessing he's not a barbarian because he has a crown and he has proper stylish, I guess, during that time gear. Um, plus two food and plus one culture in all cities. Iron and coal resources provide double quantity. It's similar to Russia, but they only have two. Well, that's kind of sad. But they still have plus two food, which would be extremely good for founding new cities. Uh, usually in high difficulties, the AI loves to spam cities, so. Yeah, keep an eye for this guy. Their special unit is a Welsh longbowman and their castle, I believe. Or is a building? The, the sire. Anyways, let's set up Girant. I've selected all four of these. I'm gonna remove Raging Barbarians. Um, I should go for Tiny, maybe. No? Alright, let's go for time. Anyways, let's start off the match. Alright, so we're loading in. Um, Stone Circle replaces the monument, of course, provides to culture, fate, and one science. It's a lot better than the than the uh, uh, monument. Of course, um, the um, Ethiopian Empire also has. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I believe it's a stele. Stel? Uh, which does something similar um, apart from the science. Now we have a stannery, replaces the factory, provides plus 4 production, 10 production in the city, and 2 engineer slots. Does not require coal to build or improve. Um, plus 2 production for each worked copper. Now this, this is quite good, quite good, really, really good. Let's begin our journey. They kind of look like city states, honestly. Anyways, let's found Truro. Let's search for um, new civilizations. Here it goes. Don't circle. Let's actually check out the factory. Here we go. It re repla replaces um, the factory, which basically does the same, except it only. No, it actually has the same benefits. A part of it costs coal and it does not give extra production for copper. Now, I do not have any copper with me, so that's actually pretty bad. I'm not gonna go for anything, I'm just gonna try to explore 
um, as fast as I can. I believe I took the standard pace on sad actually. Um, right, so I got some. Oh, here goes some copper over here. Um, I really do hope I could meet some, but I'm guessing I'm not gonna because I'm playing on an earth type. Yeah, I'm playing on earth, so they could be in completely different isle islands. Um, I'm betting I'm in America. I, I can bet that I'm in America. Um, and I believe that's the case, actually. Let's build another scout just to find these guys. I just want to find out these guys and show. Yeah, we're in America. This little area always is in America. We should also explore. Um, I doubt if we're gonna find anyone here. Um, I guess. So I'm gonna have to make this a bit more of a shorter um, mod showcase, I guess. Because uh, I can't find anyone. Right, Pantheon, nothing here. Nothing new here. Just basically the civilization. Um, yeah, well, anyways, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna be making some more civilization videos, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any suggestions on what should I do, don't forget to leave a comment below saying your suggestions. That would help me out a lot. I would get more ideas, obviously, and, well, I would basically show you what you want. Anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Civilization 5 Mod Showcase. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. You did it. You got the pickup. Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here. Hmm. Yep. That's good shit.